Hi guys, this is Jackie. Obviously, I'm Bethany. Yeah, yeah that's who you don't know. Obviously, this is Bethany. I'm actually, leaving. I'm in a lot of videos, but I'm being Sam, which Doing is why nothing. I started out with the hi guys. So today, I learned that I really like Shetland sheepdogs. Now, to imagine what a Shetland sheepdog looks like, you should imagine a border collie. You know, really black and white and beautiful, but only two feet tall. Yeah. They have like this awkwardly long nose. They literally look and sound just like border collies. They're just shorter. Um, as another fun fact, because I asked Sam, because I told you my favorite breed of dog now, um, her favorite breed is a um, Australian, Australian Shepherd. Dog. Shepherd. No. Australian Shepherd. I'm Shepherd. Sorry. I don't know where I got Jackie's you're ruining you're this. You're saying Shetland Shepherd. Um, I'm sorry. What else did I learn? Oh. So, I work at a place, and today, for the first time, I'm usually in with the puppies, and they're all tiny and adorable, but today, for the first time, I got to be in the big dog pen, which was really cool, and they were big, and they hurt my arm, which you can't see, because the lighting's bad, but anyway, um, but they were big, and they were cool, and the Shetland sheep dogs weren't in there, they were in the puppy place. Um, the other thing I learned, which is actually useful, you'll be able to do something with it, is how to deep clean a dog kennel. So what we had to do, what I had to do, we, there was no we in this, um, the guy was like, clean this, deep clean this kennel. And I was like, how do I do that? And he got me all the stuff, and then basically he put the red liquid, which I assume is a chemical, into a bucket, and then he put the water in the bucket, and he was like, make sure you only use cold water, because the hot water will break down the enzymes, and that would be bad, because then the enzymes won't clean the dog kennel. Then you, I carried this really heavy bucket to the kennel, and he got me this green fuzzy mitt, and I put on these purple cleaning gloves, which are kind of like the yellow cleaning gloves, but they're purple. I like them more. <laughs> and then on top of my purple cleaning gloves, I added this green mitt. Yeah, it was Jackie's in my favorite colors. You know it. Anyway. I, I don't know this. my favorite color is green. Now you know my favorite color is green. Yeah, her favorite color is green. Something else you're learning from this video is the all- You didn't learn it. I didn't learn it, but they learned it. That's not the purpose of the I'm telling them how to deep clean. Um, so then I squeezed the thing really badly, and I had to wipe down the entire thing, so the grating on the front, um, FYI, when you're, when you're wiping, um, the metal cross mesh stuff, the metal, and it's like this, and then like this, so it's all crossy, um, go slowly and take your time, because if you go too fast, the water sprays into your eyes, and it's filled with chemicals, and it burns. Yeah, that's bad. And then you wipe down all the walls, all the surfaces the dogs can touch, according to the guy. There's usually a bed in the back of the kennel, so you wipe down the front, the back, and all four legs. And then you get a mop, and you wipe the mop. You use the mop to mop up the floor. You have to get as much dog hair as possible because it's bad to leave dog hair from dog to dog. Plus, they shed a lot, and it's really gross dog hair. Um, the thing with using a mop inside a kennel is the kennel's only, like, three feet tall, and the mop is, like, five feet tall. So you have to mop... I'm sorry, Jackie's dancing, which is why I'm not watching the camera and I'm watching her dance. Anyway, you can continue, I'll just keep watching. And the people will be like, why are your eyes? There are no people. <laughs> Maybe there are people. There I don't are know. no people. So then I, you mop, but you have to be careful because you can't stand the mop upright. You have to hold it at this awkward angle. Anyway, that's how you deep clean a dog cage, and I like Shetland, Sh Shetland Sheepdogs. And Sam's favorite dog is an Australian Shepherd. Yeah, lots of things I learned. Although I already knew that, I just forgot it. Oh, okay. Relearning is tepidly does not count, sort of. Okay, okay but Stop I already taught them a lot. It's over. Say bye.